Hey, welcome to Outside Michigan. I got a little bonus time off work this week. Had a little surgery on the hand, some long overdue surgery from an injury a long time ago. And I've been sitting around and uh, I just can't sit in the house anymore. Uh, trying to come up with ideas for, for some new segments on the channel here. And I've come up with one that maybe you'll like. I hope you will. Um, I'm calling it the two minute review. It's pretty self explanatory. I'm going to pick an item, uh, give myself two minutes. To tell you as much as I know about it, it's going to be an item out of my pack. So most of these are going to be uh, generally uh, positive reviews because they're items that I'm using. Of course, when I come across things that have been taken out of my pack for whatever reason, I'll get those in here too and let you know why I'm no longer carrying them. So stick around and uh, we'll have the first two-minute review on the outside Michigan. Today's item is the 6LED Energizer Headlamp. All right, we'll put two minutes on the clock. And I'll tell you as much as I can about the uh, six LED headlamp from Energizer. All right, this headlamp, as the name implies, has six LED lights. It has four settings, not counting off. Um, the first is a spotlight, really good for cutting through the darkness uh, and, and just uh, pinpointing uh, pinpoint areas out at a distance. Um, pretty good spotlight for the price and, and what you got into it as far as batteries. Not bad. Uh, then you've got a floodlight. This is really good. I use this for reading after dark or just for general camp lighting as I'm wandering around when the fire's dying down. If you know nature's call or whatever, I want to see what's on the ground in front of me. This is what I use. If you really need a lot of light, especially uh, if you're outside of camp after dark or you're on the trail a little bit late, uh, the combination spot and floodlight is really good. Um, I'm kind of impressed with this light for the price. I've had it for a year, and uh, we'll get into that in just a minute. But uh, then you've got your red LEDs. Those are supposed to be uh, to help kind of protect your night vision a little bit. I don't know if they work or not. I haven't used them that much, but they're there in case you ever want to try them. And then, of course, setting number five is off. Um, but I have had this light for a little over a year, and like I said, I'm impressed with it. Uh, I bought this in March of 2012 uh, to take along with me as I hiked through the Allegheny Mountains um, in April of last year. Uh, that was a three-and-a-half-day trip. And... Uh, didn't have any problems with the light. In fact, they took a backup at that time. I've since gotten rid of the backup. This light has, never, has not let me down. I've taken it uh, kayaking on multi-day trips. I've taken it down the river. I've taken it, uh, it goes fishing with me at night and it goes camping with me. Uh, several winter camping trips already this year. The only issue I think that I've ever had with this is if it gets wet uh, and, and below freezing, your uh, switch can tend to freeze, but normally it sticks on. Other than that, it's mostly weather resistant. I've used it out in the rain and as long as it stays above freezing, the thing works pretty well. And for 15 bucks, I can't really complain. Three batteries last a long time in this light. All right, we're out of time in this one. Um, if I missed anything, if you got any other questions about the 6LED Energizer headlamp, uh, let me know in the comments section. And uh, uh, let me know what you think about this segment. I'm going to take some more items out of my pack and just do a real quick rundown on them. Most of them are going to be items. In fact, all of them are going to be items that you could go to Walmart or your local hardware store or, or wherever, a camp, camp store in uh, you know, Dunham's or, or Gander Mountain and, and pick up these items. Uh, enough, there's not going to be anything too fancy because I don't have anything too fancy in my pack. But uh, thanks for watching.